We are coming at you from Boulder, which is only a stone's throw from Kalgoorlie. And um, it's a beautiful little, uh, little town, little uh, street here of uh, Boulder. Sadly, a, a lot of the businesses are all shut down, but um, there's a few there that are really neat to go and have a walk through. Some um, delicatessens, and um, there's a couple of um, cafes, which are lovely. Um, and of course, pubs. There's still a few pubs open around here. But uh, one really nice spot behind me, um, I believe it's um, an old town hall, or uh, it's now a, um, I think a war memorial. Um, but there's apparently a really neat um, curtain that's quite nice to go and have a look at. So, um, swing you down the street as well. The, um, here's the street of Boulder. Sadly, we've lost the, the effect of the jacaranda trees. They were in beautiful bloom about uh, two weeks ago. Got the old fire station down there, 1904. All the old buildings, nice facades. All dressed up for Christmas too. I was too busy to stop and get a video of them all and this is what I got now. So uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at this um, structure and see what it's all about, eh? Alrighty ho, the Boulder Town Hall. So what we're looking for is the Gotcha Curtain. And here's the man, Philip Gotcha. Find a bit more info about it. Walking through the entrance, very grand, beautiful ceilings. Oh wow, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Beautiful floors, and uh, you got this wonderful, I don't know what they call it, an upper level. And the piece de resistance is the curtain. Check this out. What a great painting. And it looks dimensional. It's wicked. There it is. So these are painted bollards on the side, but that it's very nice. Just having some lunch. York Hotel up here there's a nice little balcony sadly we picked a bit of a windy day but the street of Kalgoorlie I think that's a courthouse down the bottom where you can get some tours um, from memory and you can I, I think the gold leaf dome up the top there is for real um, and further down the street you've got the there's a high frame and a museum down there doing the Santa Barbara Square up over there and how's that for a cute little building established 1895. Still some nice old frontage and facades here in Kalgoorlie. Excuse the wind. It's heading back over towards the west. Only outside Cuesta Casa, or also known as the Pink House. You'll notice what looked like doors. They were there. That was where the the women who worked at the brothel would um, advertise their wares <laughs> and the blokes obviously they'll be down in the mines and probably have a few beers and got all this money to spend and yeah so I think the girls did quite well I think the madam of the house did very very well as well so yeah Cuesta Casa is one of the oldest working um, brothels in the world it's here on Hay Street there was there was a number of uh, brothels in Hay Street um, there was a couple more have been converted into offices and hotels and things now. Um, the interesting here thing with Hay Street is um, there's another street that links on past this roundabout and it's the street that the police station was on. And I understand that um, Hay Street didn't go all the way through 
because the police would be on Hay Street as well, same street as the brothel. And I guess it was frowned upon having a police station in the same street as the brothel. So when they said, oh, you got a, a brothel in Hay Street, I see. And they go, yeah, but we're not on Hay Street. So an interesting little twist. So yeah, we've been here before and done the tour and it's highly recommended. Um, go to it. Um, it really, um, yeah, answers a, a lot of questions that you, you don't know about brothel life and um, yeah it's, it's, it's pretty sad and um, pretty shocking and, and there's good parts as well so yeah behind these doors is a brothel built over a hundred years ago well it's more than that yeah so there's tours there um, it's usually about 3 p.m. daily and it's still operating just filling in my weekend a Sunday and I think it's coffee and cars. Look it up in Kalgoorlie. Little spot down here. At Centennial Park. Some of the locals get their pride and joy out of the out of the sheds. Come and display it for everyone to see. Pretty nice examples around. It's actually quite surprising how many people have some beautiful classic cars and hot rods and things around uh, Kalgoorlie. early and they're still arriving as well. There we go, the Kalgoorlie Desert Races. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Coming to you from Kalgoorlie. Been here for uh, a few uh, few weeks. Um, hunkered down, picked up a job, get some petrol money. Diesel actually, get it right. And uh, got me a week off, and um, yeah, as I say, I've been here in Kalgoorlie working um, before, and uh, couldn't really play too much, especially over COVID, not a lot like happened, but there was these um, desert races. Um, I think this is maybe the fourth um, of a possible six series or something around Australia, and this I think is one of the biggest. There you go. I love the dubby down the end there, the old green one. The old dubby shell, it's really cool. There's a good line up here. A few more. Well, oh, there's trucks I mentioned. Yeah, there's um, obviously buggies and the little two-seater trucks. Or oh, two-seater. Um, down the back there, they're doing some scrutineering or something on the motorbikes. That's got to be a favourite of mine. That mean. Not your standard Volkswagen engine though. campus
So here we go, we've um, made it to this uh, Kalgoorlie BHP uh, nickel smelter. So this place is uh, obviously creating a lot of uh, nickel, which is used in lots of things, computers, electronics, and uh, probably most importantly now, used in a lot of batteries, um, EVs and things. Sadly though, what comes out of the nickel smelter is a lot of waste. So behind me is the, uh, the slag that gets poured off once the, uh, the nickel's been extracted. Anyway, we'll hang around and see if we can find one of these trucks that are going to be tipping over here. I think probably every 20 odd minutes or something. So, to wait for this next one. Having a bit of a whistling competition at the moment between a bird and myself. <laughs> I'm striking up a bit of a conversation. Is he just over there in that left left hand branch somewhere? Oh. Let's see if I can get closer to him. There he is. Just in that tree there. Pretty sound. Here she comes. So we managed to get down to this uh, BHP um, smelter uh, sunset spot so that we can watch the pour. So behind me, hopefully where it's all going to happen and uh, hopefully the, the sun doesn't sort of uh, shine in the lens too much. But um, yeah, it's a nice evening for it down here. We'll see how wonderful this is in the, uh, the evening or at night. Obviously our night photos aren't going to be good, I'm not really well set up to, to do night photos, but we'll do the best we can.
we just stopped at a, a message board just uh, out of Kalgoorlie. Just an interesting little fact there. The name Kalgoorlie is derived from the local Aboriginal word Kaakula, or Gaakula, which means the place of silky pears. Big buckets that they use in the smelter. So yeah, this is, I think we'd probably call them a crucible or something like that, a bucket. <laughs> so this is what the molten, the slag is poured into and then it's put on the back of a truck and it takes it to the, uh, the dump zone. One very big bucket. And here we've got four of them for people to view. So that's the super bit in the distance where they uh, drop all the rock. And uh, we've got these buckets. Oh, and I noticed there, I'm not going that way, but there's an historic site, the old Boulder Cemetery back from 1899 to 1904. There we go. As I said before too, the BHP nickel smelter. They're responsible for about 100,000 tonnes of nickel a year. Hey there. Thank you for watching Sweet As RVing. Uh, tune in for another episode. Um, you can um, improve your efforts of following us by um, clicking the like, share and follow button. And uh, make a comment as well too if um, we can um, bring anything to you. If there's any questions out there, let us know. But hey, thank you for, for following us and help our channel grow.